Metformin belongs to the biguanide class of medications and is the first-line treatment option for type 2 diabetes. Usually metformin is indicated along with other lifestyle modifications such as regular exercising and dietary interventions. Sometimes, metformin is given in combination with other blood glucose-lowering drugs for better control of blood glucose. Metformin is also used to treat conditions such as diabetes during pregnancy, also known as gestational diabetes, and polycystic ovarian syndrome. Metformin reduces blood glucose levels via several mechanisms. In type 2 diabetes, even though blood glucose levels are high, glucose cannot enter the cells as required. Therefore, these cells starve for energy. Metformin increases the glucose uptake by the cells by increasing their insulin sensitivity. Metformin also reduces the production of new glucose in the liver. And it reduces the intestinal absorption of glucose too. Finally, metformin increases the breakdown of glucose in peripheral tissues such as muscle and fat tissue. Through these mechanisms, metformin is able to bring down blood glucose levels to a normal range in type 2 diabetics. Now let's discuss about the side effects of metformin. This drug is usually well tolerated by most individuals. Weight loss is the most common adverse effect. It also causes gastrointestinal disturbances such as abdominal discomfort, nausea and vomiting, and diarrhea. Loss of appetite and metallic taste are some other mild side effects of metformin. Unlike some other glucose-lowering drugs, metformin does not cause hypoglycemia or low blood glucose. Another rare but a serious side effect is lactic acidosis. This condition is characterized by extreme fatigue and muscle cramps. Lactic acidosis commonly occurs in patients with kidney disease and liver failure. Therefore, metformin is contraindicated in kidney impairment and liver disease.